Hello, today we are going to start the new St. Joseph First Communion Catechism book with Jesus and all of his apostles and some children learning about Jesus. Okay, we are going to start with chapter 1. Has a beautiful picture of God the Father in heaven surrounded by his angels. It's very beautiful. And on the bottom is his creation. So, Lesson 1 on page 7. Who made you? God made me. God made me out of nothing. He made me because he loves me. He gave me to my mother and father. They take care of me. They take God's place. I belong to God because he made me. 2. Did God make all things? Yes, God made all things. God made the earth and the sky. God made the, also made the sun. God made the moon and the stars. God made night and day. God made rain and snow. God made hills and mountains. God made oceans and rivers. God made trees and flowers. God made all animals, big and little. God made the fishes in the water. God made the birds in the sky. God made the angels. Angels are spirits. They have no bodies. They know much more than we do. They have great power. The angels who help me, the angel who helps me is my guardian angel. He is with me all the time. He keeps me from danger. He helps me to think of God. God made Adam and Eve. Adam and Eve were the first man and woman. God made the sun and the moon for them. God made the trees and the flowers for them. God made the animals for them. God made the birds and the fishes for them. God made all these things for them to use. God made the world for all of us. Why did God make you? God made me to show his goodness and to make me happy with him in heaven. God is good. God made me because he is good. God is always happy. God wants everybody to be happy. God made me to be happy with him forever. I cannot be happy without God. I need God. Heaven is God's home. Everybody in heaven is happy. To be happy forever, we must get to heaven. Earth is the place where we must get ready for heaven. 4. What must you do to be happy with God in heaven? To be happy with God in heaven, I must know him, love him, and serve him in this world. First, I must know God. I cannot love God unless I know him well. To know God, I must study my catechism. I must think about God every day. I must pray to God. Most of all, I must love God. We give gifts to those we love. I must make my life a gift to God. I must love God more than I love myself. I must love God more than I love anybody else. I must love God above all things. To show God I love him, I must serve him. I serve God when I pray well. I try to think of God. I serve God when I work well. I study art at school and at home. I serve God when I play well. I try to be fair and not selfish. I must not offend God by sin. I must want to please him. It is not always easy to please God. What pleases him sometimes does not please us. I must please God rather than myself. This shows God I love him more than myself. And here's a picture of two uh, 
two friends, and the first one says, Shall I be selfish and please myself? And that's that one on this side. Or shall I share and please God? And the boy, the second boy with the red sweater decided to share his candy bar. And then they're both happy. And even the boy who shares it, who doesn't get to eat all of it, he's happy. All right, let's try to answer these questions. It's, uh, when I am selfish, I do not please God. When I am kind to others, I please God. To be happy, I must please God in everything. Okay, number one, why do you belong to God? Well, you belong to God because he made you. Who were the first man and woman? The first man and woman were Adam and Eve. Three, what is God's home called? God's home is called heaven. Four, why does God want us to come there? Because he loves you so much. He's prepared this beautiful place in heaven just for you. And he wants you to be happy forever. And five, what three things must I do to be happy with God? To be happy with God, you must pray well, work well, and play well. And with that, that ends our lesson. And so we will end it with the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. May God bless you and protect you until we meet again.